guys, welcome to this video, which won't be released until next week. Today is March 14th. Um, so this video is going to be titled The iPod Touch Second Generation Home Repair Experience. So I was digging through my closet like a weirdo. Um, and I found my first ever Apple product. This is the first Apple product I ever own, but it's pretty bad. I'm filming on my phone right now because the Flip Mino is dead, but yeah. So it's pretty cracked. But yeah, it works. The touch works. But obviously, it's very laggy. This thing is literally um, older than me. It came out in 2008. I was born in 2009. But everything works. Like if you go to Safari, which is very laggy. Actually, let's just go to the keyboard part. And then just to random buttons. So the point is, the iPod works. It just needs to be screen replaced. So I asked for a local place here in Flagstaff. Um, and they did have parts for the iPod Touch second generation. But $60 to freaking repair... A device that's third almost 13 years old what they're charging me 60 bucks for something that's almost half almost a decade and a half old so I'm like I'm not paying that much and another places I called either were too far or just way 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 too expensive actually the $60 one was cheap the rest um, were over $100 to fix it. And I don't even know if it's a collector's item or not. I doubt it because they're like $5 sometimes. They go as, as high as um, sealed, as high as $100, $200. And the lowest I've ever seen one was like 5 bucks, And it was for parts. And I saw one similar to mine, cracked screen for $4. Now I was thinking to buy it as like a screen replacement, but it's the part, is, the screen is obviously cracked, so there's no difference. So I went on good old eBay. Dang, I sound much douchier than usual. So I went on eBay and I, I ordered a couple things. I my camera, my phone died, I recharged it. So yeah, like I said, I ordered a couple things. I actually ordered a screwdriver plus a screen removal plus SIM card ejectors kit, kit for less than six dollars. Wow! Why do I sound so douche? Okay, and then I got the screen replacement for eight dollars with the home button. Less stress for me. Um, because then I would have to remove the home button from this one. Uh, I think they are official Apple ones because they actually have like the design that Apple has. So I think those are official Apple screens. I actually went onto the iFixit website to try to find it, but on iFixit, it's $30 and out of stock. And I don't want to wait another two, three, or 50 years for another sh for a screen for an iPod. So I just resorted to the eBay screen. I ordered that one. And then I ordered something totally useless on eBay. Um, before I got banned on TikTok, screw TikTok. Um, I actually saw this guy, Phone Repair Guru, very awesome YouTuber. Link is in the description if you guys want to go check him out. So yeah, so Phone Repair phone repair guru he has like this blue thingy i thought it was like a container cap but it's actually something to keep all the screws and all the everything organized on the table and sometimes you're magnetic so i want and i was looking forward to be a part of that group 
So, I decided to buy one for $7. Great. So, I redid the math, and the total was $24.86. But I got a $6.75 discount thanks to $1 left that I had from a Christmas gift card I got. And $5 from a coupon that eBay had given to me. So, I only paid about $19, which is about... 65% of the price at the uh, repair store in Flagstaff. We <laughs> So yeah, this is going to be titled once again, the iPod Touch second generation um, repair experience. So I'll see you guys when the first package should arrive, which should be the screen Friday. So I'll see you guys Friday. Alright guys, so it's currently the next day after I filmed the other part of the video actually the first package was right it's arriving today now let me check which one is it all right so far it's not here maybe they stuffed it in the my mailbox let me check tim correct mystic i water fourth word Alright, Are you serious? You serious? Are you serious? Oh. Are you serious? Oh my god. Well. It's not here. I think I got delivered to the wrong address. Oh, see you guys when the other package arrives. So far, not good news. Two hours later. I, this has to be the screws, and this is the thingy for the mat. We're just waiting for the screen now. Let me unbox them. So yeah, it was like two hours ago, the last time I filmed. So <clears throat> let's start with the small one. I don't feel like pressing out the package because I'm too lazy, and I'm not even going to show you guys. Yeah. I think I need a knife. I made a brief hole. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I got it ripped. I got it. Uh, yeah, this is the screwdriver set. Now this is going to be the the what's it called? Yeah, the mat. Get this out of the package. Shula. What? Shula. Hold on. All right. Mm. 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 Alright, let's take this out. There we go. Huh? I'm going somewhere. And this is like the plunger thing. Okay, so this is like the opening tool, which is gonna go right here. And another opening tool, which is useful for the opening of the iPod Touch. We got uh, the different screw heads. These are these actually seem to be decent quality. Two SIM card ejectors, which is very useful sometimes. And the last screw, which is the star head one. So, Friday is the day that the uh, screen is arriving, so I should have everything ready for Friday so we can start the repair. And this is what the repair table would look like. Beautiful. The next day. Good morning. So, 
a uh, big announcement. Nothing is arriving after today. Um, the screen is going to arrive today um, between 8.45 and 12.45. Now, I am a little worried because over there, they're doing construction on my street and probably won't have room for the mailman. So, you guys know that yesterday the blue mat and the screw set came, but we were just waiting for the screen. Well, the screen was supposed to arrive on Friday. The blue thing, actually the screen was supposed to arrive next Monday. The blue thing was supposed to arrive on Friday. And the screwdriver set was going to arrive next Wednesday. So everything came between... They came about almost a week before my things. So today we're going to get the screen and we're going to start the the uh, fixing process. Probably, most likely at my sister's house. So I'm going to take all of the equipment with me. So I'll see you guys when the package is delivered. I just woke up not too long ago. But see you guys when the package is getting delivered. All right, so I know I said I was gonna wake up later, but I mean, show you until it gets delivered. But might as well just check. What the hell? Bro, they took over my street. I know it's gonna happen. Well, package is definitely gonna be delayed because I don't know what time these guys finish. And clearly they're not going to finish anytime soon. And I have my test today. Ugh, oh, so stressful. The, the screen is the last thing we need. So we can start the building process, whatever. The whole um, repair thing. The screen repair. <sighs> All for being cheap. I spent... Only like $25 on all the materials. Less than $25, it's probably like $19. Cause I got $6 off, even more cheap. So I basically got 65 to 70% off what it would be like at the repair store that I have near me here in Flagstaff. There's one in, uh, In what's it called? Around the corner from my house, there's one very close to my house. It's around the corner. It's just like go down my street, make a left, and boom, it's right there. And they were charging me 60 bucks, which is ridiculous for an iPod that's 13 years old. So I decided to pay with it with my own debit card. Actually, it wasn't a bank debit card. It's one of those uh, vanilla gift card debit cards, and it had 25 bucks on it. So I bought it from there. <sighs> Me and my stupidity. All right. It's freezing here in Flagstaff, but look, no chance of snow at all. But it was snowing like three days ago. I think it was. It was Friday when it snowed. Not even three days ago. That was like almost two, that was five days ago. The last time it snowed. It was Friday. And it was snowing very, very hard. Super hard actually. It was snowing very, very hard. Oh my god, I'm not gonna let my poor mailman here. What the hell?
can see all the residue from the dirt storm. There was, and also because it was snowing and raining. There was a mudslide kind of. A mudslide kind of like, like the mud slided off and it spread it all over here. And then when a dirt storm kind of was like flying everywhere, it hit my house and I had to clean the whole damn house. But yeah, you see this? That's dirt mixed with dried up snow. And this right here is wet snow still, but completely covered in mud. So I guess it's not even snow anymore, it's just wet mud right there too. All this right there. It was like a freaking mudslide here in Flagstaff, and I've never seen that happen. Even though I've only lived here in Flagstaff for like a year. So a lot of people, one person asked me, uh, when will I, um, what's it called? When will I go back to LA? I'm planning to take a trip back to LA, um, on Friday to come back and be with my dad. Psych, I'm not going to LA. My dad lives in Phoenix. No, he doesn't. My sister lives in Phoenix. He used to live in Phoenix with my sister. Now, he lives in Winslow, which is a very small town around about an hour away from me, which is 60 miles down the same highway where I'm close to, Interstate 40. But LA, I probably plan to go to LA. Um, maybe for spring break. So yeah, I do plan to go. Ah. All right, so I just finished my test. The mail guy came actually while I was on my test. Uh, I never got that much attention when I was younger. So hopefully I did okay. I doubt it, but it never hurts to think that you did right on something for the first time in your life. So. Hopefully the screen came, and if not, it's gonna be the same problem as yesterday. All right, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying. Okay, so. Do something. There we go. Okay, so I have all of my materials here, and I do have a video saved on my laptop. And let me go to the iFixit guide so I can show you. So I can show you, let's see what the difficulty is to repair my iPod Touch. Okay, let's search up iPod Touch second generation. Obviously, a lot of these videos are pretty old, maybe like 10 years old. Probably 11 years old. All right. Uh, front panel, because that's what we are going to replace. All right. Okay, so here's, according to the iFixit guide, you can see the difficulty is very difficult. And time required, 45 minutes. So, and I don't like reading or scrolling through pic or looking at pictures. That doesn't work for me. So, I have a YouTube video that I can search up from this very awesome YouTuber called Overkill Computers. Very awesome YouTuber. So, I'm just going to watch his video and try to repair this and i have all my repair tools here let's actually get the screen out so we can get it ready so obviously i don't want to cross it out because i'm too lazy to do it so i just ripped off the label oh, i hate this packaging oh it's so st stuck they literally don't want anyone stealing anything all right okay 
I was expecting a, like a sticker that said fragile. All right, we got a box from a priority mail thingy. All right, better not screw this up. All right, let me pull it from this tab. Ooh, this actually looks pretty darn good. So the screen actually looks pretty darn good. So we got our protective film there. All right, I'm trying to keep it pretty clean, so I'm actually gonna keep it on its bubble wrap. Okay, let the time lapse begin. So right now, I'm gonna get this little like guitar pick thingy, and I'm gonna scratch out all this dirt and some of the glue if I can, and then I'm gonna start pushing out the screen, so. Here's a time lapse of me cleaning it and trying to pull out the screen. Okay. This is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Very, pretty hard. This is pretty hard actually. Well, see you guys. I'm not going to put a time lapse because I don't feel like it. See you guys when I finally have this open. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I need some patience. 20 minutes later, I finally got it pried open, kind of, from one corner. There's a lot of cracking noises, so I kind of freaked out, like if I damage an LCD connector. But yeah, I finally got an inside view of it. See you guys when I finally have the whole screen off and then we'll start the other screen. So while taking off the screen, this chunk of the old screen fell off. Oh well, who cares? All right, we got the left side off. Now we gotta disconnect the right side. Ooh, deep breaths. Okay guys, I got the screen off. Finally, it took like almost an hour, but I got the screen off. The iFixit guide is pretty accurate to as difficulty wise but so now this is the moment to test how dumb i can be if i snap this connector here like break it i'm dead so i have to disconnect it from there i have to connect this one okay After this that's how it's gonna go all right so you guys want to have the screen off we don't need this. Okay guys, so I just got done eating lunch. We already got the whole front screen. Isn't that cool? Wait, check that out. Ooh. Now the fact of the matter is putting the screen back on is pretty simple. It's not rocket science. If you guys can see, I still- Okay guys, so my camera kept abruptly stopping, but here it is. My repair, my own repair. And it completely worked. I am very, very proud of myself. So this was the old screen. I'm actually gonna test the durability of it right now as a surprise. Home button's a little loose still, but it still works. It works beautifully. All right, let's test its durability. First, with the, with this is the star one I have. Let's just stab it through. Okay, I don't know how people break this, but it's how the person who's how I broke this. Let's see the home button. Very scratchable. I mean, this iPod literally came out only a year after the original iPhone. That is very strong, okay. The screen is very strong. Okay, now for the Y one I have, which is for the iPhone first generation to the fifth. The screen is very strong, 
not even a single dent onto the screen. Now for my purple screwdriver, which is the plus one, which is usually on iPads. I think I'm going to break my screwdrivers. This is very strong. This is like Gorilla Glass, I think. Nothing. All right, a spoon edge. What? All right, I'm done because this screen won't break and I'm just making a lot of noise. So yeah, that's the screen replacement on an iPhone, iPod Touch second generation. Everything was supposed to arrive by next week, but everything arrived early. So with, so, So with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this home repair video, just like the MacBook one. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.